University of Syracuse students are demanding that they have the ability to select students who quote look like them when they're applying uh, for living in dorms among many other complaints due to what they're saying is a string of racist incidents now towards the end of november early december there's been some craziness going on at syracuse university they had a sit-in uh for i think seven days or seven days i think it was they sat in in their uh, university for a string of at least seven incidents in 12 days in November. So they've been sitting there. They were sitting there for a week, demanding that something be done about all these racist racist incidents. The problem is, it's really hard to find the actual proof and evidence of what these incidents actually were. It's very hard to verify, but there were a ton of claims. Now, one of the claims is that people airdropped the um, the New Zealand shooters manifesto into people's phones. Uh, that, as far as I could find, has not been confirmed. Uh, nobody actually came forward. That looked like a hoax, uh, one of the people reporting on it said. Others said there was, quote, language that is derogatory to African Americans. And another said she was, sub quote, subjected to a verbal racial epithet from a group of students and visitors. And there's even more than that. There's emails to Jewish professors, uh, Swatska in a snowbank nearby. Uh, here's an NBC report on it where one of the students who claims to be a reporter on the issue uh, says that there's been tons of things in bathrooms and hallways. Take a look. State police and local law enforcement are all coming together, joining forces with campus authorities in Syracuse to investigate a series of racist and anti-Semitic messages. The graffiti, dozens of them, discovered in the last couple of weeks, forcing the university to suspend at least one fraternity and temporarily remove another four students from campus. All of this after a week-long protest sit-in. The school's chancellor has signed this agreement right here, a list of demands to combat all of this. Uh, joining me now is a senior at Syracuse University, Morgan Frau, who's uh, been covering this. Morgan, where were these messages seen, and what, uh, to what extent were they racist and anti-Semitic? Yeah, so there have been all different types of messages, whether they were written on bathroom stalls or written in the snow. A swastika was found, I saw it with my own eyes, outside of an apartment complex. And then uh, the N-word was written, it slurs against Asian people, against Native American people. They're found all over the campus. And, and, and do the authorities have any idea who's behind all of this? As of right now, there's nothing that they can tell us about who's behind it because they don't have any sort of surveillance inside the dorms and they also don't have anything inside bathrooms as well. So they can't tell who's done it and everyone they've interviewed says that they had nothing to do with it. Now the only person who's actually been arrested at this point is actually somebody who has made graffiti in support of the protests because, well, it's a crime to do graffiti. What they're actually charged with was criminal mischief in the fourth degree and making graffiti. It's against the law, even if you're saying love everyone, everybody or uh, M&Ms are better than Skittles. I would agree. Now what's happening now is that the faculty is calling for more university-wide diversity courses. Nearly 150 Syracuse University faculty members have signed a statement calling for the creation of a university-wide liberal arts core curriculum that would promote critical thinking about these issues of diversity. I'm sure that doesn't exist already, you guys. <laughs> Board of Trustees formed Special Committee. Advisory panel on campus climate Syracuse University's Board of Trustees announced the creation of a special committee and independent panel Thursday to jointly address campus climate diversity and inclusion. Now the interesting thing about all of this stuff, all these crazy changes they're making to uh, you know punish people who didn't do anything, that last year, the Syracuse University opened a $5 million social justice center, whatever that means, to, quote, foster proactive, innovative, and interdisciplinary approaches, approaches to issues related to justice, equity, and inclusion. So it's all the same thing, all this jargon. Apparently, it didn't work when they did this last year. Now, let's assume that all these things happened. I don't think they all happened. I think a few of them did, and people wanted to feel included. This is what happens a lot of the times with uh, hate crimes. But there are a lot of claims. But on the other hand, a ton of hate crimes are faked. Especially nowadays where the Jussie Smollett days, uh, a lot of this stuff is faked, sad to say. Well, there's so many here that you've got to be inclined to think that at least a few of them are true, or at least the ones that started are true, um, or, or else I don't think people would be treating this as seriously. I think it was probably one or two morons who did this who think that it's hilarious that they're causing so much of an uproar and they don't care what happens to the future students. Uh, on both sides, frankly, I don't think they care what happens to the future students. However, 
Um, when I was in college, this is just why I believe this stuff. It was a very black school, and I faced a good amount of racism. Not a lot, but uh, enough to make me feel bad from time to time. My friends were robbed. They were held up at knife point. Uh, someone got shot behind the residence in the park. Uh, enough stuff where, you know, it was sketchy if you went in certain areas. Would I... Um, would I have rather had racially charged things written on the wall about white people than actual threats of violence? Uh, well, yes, I would. Um, but that still makes you feel bad if you're walking around a place and you don't feel welcome in a place you're paying to be in. Your parents are paying, not my parents, but assumedly their parents are paying to be in. Um, the solution to all of this is not, however, we don't trust anyone. Uh, get all the white people out of here. We need to be racially inclusive. That's not the solution. And that certainly seems like what they're acting like in this video. Campus Reform's uh, Justine Murray was there just to videotape the event, just to videotape them sitting in and uh, doing their little protest. Um, and she was harassed. But before we get to that video, got to remind you about my Patreon. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe this video. Keep independent YouTubers alive. I'm dying over here, you guys. I'm sweating in the desert. Um, just one dollar a month really helped me out. Here's the video of this girl, Justine Murray, just recording, just there to see what's going on, and that, and basically she's committed the crime of being alive. Why you keep coming here, bro? Why you keep coming Why people are upset? And, well, and I, you don't understand. I don't because I was just—I didn't say or do anything. I'm just reporting for an outlet, right? So, but you're reporting for an outlet that contributes to a narrative that allows experiences like this. Can you explain how? How? Like how? What narrative and how does? How do you feel about what happened? I'm just reporting. I mean, I—I I think what happened in Day Hall is terrible, but I'm. I'm here as a reporter. I'm not here to express my feelings. Yeah, okay. And what outlet do you report for? Campus Reform. Campus Reform. Is a what kind of outlet? It's it's an outlet that covers college campuses and political stuff happening on college campuses. Is that, is that it? It's politically yeah, from what perspective? It is conservative. Okay. So, okay. But that, why does that matter? Okay. Because there are conservative thoughts that create spaces like this and the need for things like this. Okay, Conservatism? How? Like in what thoughts? In what thoughts? That, okay, like, okay. This is a conversation that extends like, okay. This is a conversation that can extend like way beyond what I can tell you just like right now, but, but especially in this environment. Right now, because because it's my because it's like history. Like that's like like an yeah. hour long can lecture. You, just allow you weren't smart enough to understand this. I'd have to give you a history lesson over hours. That's the attitude of these people here. So what's happening now? The school is giving in to all the demands. Uh, they're giving them more credence stacked like children. Why? Because they're still going to make money off these students. They're still like, why not just shell out whatever they want? If it's a drop in the bucket of their actual budget of what they actually make, then, then let them have these things. Let's read some of the demands for their customers. Some of them are okay, most of them are actually silly, you can see it on the screen. Uh, they want to decide how people get punished, forced diversity training for faculty, keep, keeping in mind the faculty didn't actually do anything, so that doesn't really make sense. They want to rewrite the anti-harassment policy. If you look at number nine here, they want to allocate necessary funds to support students of color in allevi alleviating financial burden. Ridiculous. And then if you look into their explanation for number six, which they have an explanation for a bunch of them. Number six, which was to properly implement housing changes, which was the initial point. 
Uh, it involves giving students of color the option to be surrounded by other students who look like them to feel more comfortable and safer. Now the school is already listening to them because they want their money, but this isn't going to bode well for these students, whom I'm going to call children, because that's how they've acted. Not negating if these things have happened to them that they're bad, but you can't act like children in the response. This is not going to bode well for them in the real world. They're going to take this out there with them. They're going to expect people to uh, manipulate the world around them to better suit them if something bad happens to them. Not going to happen. Remember, these are supposed to be the adults. You're over 18. You're on your own. You're supposed to be an adult. But what do you do? You stage a sit-in. The university is still getting paid if you're sitting there, guys. I don't know if you know that. Demanding the world adapt to you because you feel bad is not a realistic solution. If the school wasn't just after money, they would say, well, the best we can do is try to find who this person is and punish them appropriately. That's not okay with them. It's we get to decide the punishment, we get to rewrite the harassment policy, but also give us money and give us segregation, which makes no sense, to say it lightly. The solution is not punish everybody else. Diversity training and counselors who represent all marginalized communities. Of course we get to decide what that means, of course, but also give us money. <laughs> give us everything we've ever wanted. Give people money if they aren't white, you guys. And give people who aren't white segregated housing away from the whites. What does this sound like? The solution to racism is not more racism. I'm sorry to tell you, no matter how bad your feelings are hurt, no, how, no matter how bad things are, that is not the correct way to go about things. But that's not what these children are taught. It's not what they're taught in university, that's not what they're taught in high school. They're taught that the solution to their perceived social injustice, which in this case appears to be at least somewhat legitimate, is to punish anyone who doesn't look like them and to give special treatment to people based on their race. This is not a world I want to live in. This is called actual racism, and I say again, the solution to racism is not to be mean or unexclusive to other people, based on their race, or to give people uh, certain benefits like free money based on their race.